Hello and welcome to Brightness MTG. My name is Vyacheslav and today I show you pre-modern Fires deck. As you can see, it's green and red deck on creatures, aggressive deck, build it around. Good enchantment, Fires of Evimaya to give a haste to creatures. So now let's look at the card closely after this I tell you about game plan. Deck contains two sets of mana dorks, is Birds of Paradise, flying creature that can generate mana of any color, and Lana Varelf, non-flying creature that can generate green and go to attack. Mm. All other spells, even mana dorks is creatures, but most of spells in the deck is a creatures. This one is a sorcery, but can create this elephant for free mana, and second at the next turn for four or in the enemy one. This big guy is Blastoderm, 5-5 five five with Hexproof, I think. It has Fading, so can go to attack only twice, but if you have Haste, by fires three times. Also Blastoderm is Beast. It's good because that contains a Ravenous Ballad. It's Beast 2, 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. For Sacrifice a Beast, you can gain 4 life. And when your Blasted Arm will have last Fade Encounter, you can sacrifice it and gain lives. Next creature is River Bomb. It's good versus uh, blue decks because it has Island Walk and can be regenerated by removal. Flame Tone Cow. 4 2 for 4 mana that also deal 4 damage when enters the battlefield. It might be. Not so good if your opponent have not creatures, because Flame Tongue Cow deal 4 damage in any case. But sometimes you can kill your Lana Varelf if you don't need him. Last creature is a very tricky one, Shivan Room. You can see it's 7-7 seven, seven with Trapple just for 5 mana. But when it comes into battlefield, you need to return green or red creature into your hand. So if you have not creatures on the battlefield, when you play Shivan Room, you return Shivan Room. But if you have Blasted Arm or Flintong Cow, it's very good card, very effective. You can replay his powerful creatures. Also, that contains his spell for 5 mana, it's Supporting Burst with Fading 7, Enchantment. When it comes into play, it just comes into play, yeah. But you can remove one Fading Counter at any time to create Supporting Token, and power toughness of this token will be equal to number of counters on Supporting Burst. So you can create 1-6-6 six, six token or 3-4-4. Four, four. Of course, without, without haste, it will be not so big on the next turn. But with haste, it will go to attack directly when you play it. As it will deck build it around Yurimaya, Fires of Yurimaya, it gives creatures haste. And if you don't need to give creatures haste, because they currently attack, you can sacrifice enchantment to give plus two plus two to creature. And last card in this section is Lightning Bolt. It's a single spell that don't buff your own creature and don't communicate with your creatures. Just kill opponent creatures or deal little damage. So main and best game plan for the deck, best case, it's a play Mana Dork on the first turn. At the second turn, you can play Fires of Yumaya. It's best variant, or just call the herd. But, but of course, it fires. On the next turn, if your opponent has blocker, you can play Flintom Kalu, deal 4 damage to blocker, and go to attack. And after this, you can play Wound to Ayrton Kalu and replay it. Or you can play on the third turn Blasted Arm, or Ballad, or Pair of River Boss. And as I say, finish is a Shivan Worm or a lot of creatures with supporting burst. Of course, it's not everyday play, but it's best one. So now let's look on the lands in the deck. Mana base in the deck is very simple. We have six basic mountains and nine basic forests. This one from my sage, it's very beautiful, I think. Four copies of Corpus on Forest to stabilize. I have only one from my Sage and three with white border, but we fixed it. 
and in this land, it's free copies of Tilt Up Village. It comes in play tapped, generate green mana, but also for two mana, it's free free trample creature. It's very good, I think. And we have one copy of Dust Bowl. This card you can sacrifice any of your lands to destroy non basic land. So you can sacrifice extra basic lands if you don't need them, or if you animate the village and opponent use lightning bolt to kill this creature, you can sacrifice it to destroy opponent land. It's not bad trick, I think. Most of Fire's deck use more stabilization in mana base. I mean the Fishlands or Winters, but I think for Capricorn Forest is good, good amount. Now go to sideboard. In sideboard we have answers to popular decks in the format. Three copies of Thermal Crypt to exile graveyards of reanimator decks. Four Pyroblasts to fight against control decks and any blue permanents. Two Earthquakes to destroy a lot of goblins or elves or other little creatures. Also, Earthquake deal damage to player, you know. Two extra copies of River Ball because River Ball is very cool and it's good against control decks. Two Naturalize to destroy artifact or enchantment. And two copies of Cool Bridge to destroy artifact and enchantment. But on the sorcery speed. Really, I don't know what's better. Of course, it's good to destroy two permanents at the moment, but instant speed is important too. It's better to answer in the right moment. So, it's all about Fire's deck. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!